Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on this little beauty. So I looked it up and apparently there was a little jaded stunt team and this is one of the cars. So then I wondered, okay, well, what kind of car is this? Turns out it was inspired by a car called a Henry J. Mid 50s, six cylinder, kind of a goofy looking car. But this one here is cool because I think it's like half hot rod, right? The scoop could use some work. It's uh, had a bunch of casting imperfections. And I would imagine it's pretty close to breaking off. Wouldn't take much. So today I wanted to finish this off as a full on hot rod, but I'm gonna be cutting this wing off and putting the back end on this thing. So that's what we're gonna do today. Click, click, click. Oh, good morning, ghost. I wonder how many Henry J's are left out in the world there. We do got to start molding our own glass here one of these days. Bleep, bleep, bleep. This thing's pretty cool, you know. I think it's going to look real nice. I plan to finish off this hood scoop. I was thinking maybe we could just putty it from the inside and then finish carving it out with precision tools, you know, make it look like a fiberglass hood. Maybe we'll do like a real crazy deep candy on this or something. I don't know. We'll have a look-see. Anyways, uh, let's get this paint stripped off. We could have a look at this interior. Pretty basic. Got a Fred Flintstone this thing. All right, I'll get the stripper. So we'll do the old clamperoo here. Give it a jiggle. And then wait. This is gonna be wild. Hopefully I can get this hood scoop looking good. So I have a couple uh, a couple ideas for paint. We could uh, do something off. Holy sheep shit. Ruined my mat. Fun and unexpected. Luckily my mat didn't get too wrecked. This thing's seen some action. Probably do for a new one. That ghost stain, I didn't even get it on camera. I did that off camera. I'm telling you, this thing is one race away from losing that hood scoop. I get to try to roughen this up as much as I can just to uh, try to promote maximum adhesion. Usually when I'm filling holes on die cast, I use this high heat. It's putty, two parts. Ew, I haven't, uh, haven't used this in a while, a year. But you just cut off a little slice and mix it together. Easy peasy. That's a nice slice right there, boy. It looks like a bonkers candy. <laughs> I'll save this for another day. And we just gotta take off this little weenie wrapper. And mix the two parts together. Dun, 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 dun. Stuff is crazy tacky. But it sticks really well to cars, so that's nice. Squish. It's like Play-Doh factory. Gonna put some junk in your trunk. So I got everything kind of roughed out. There's our scoop. Doesn't look like much. In the back end. It's all filled up and that's looking flush. This is my smallest diamond burr. So I was gonna go in here and make some room for the scoop. And then once I got a hole large enough, I'm gonna try to put this little cylinder in. So we'll see, hopefully. Click, 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 click. This is working out quite well. Hopefully I didn't scar this hood up too much. I got a bunch of little diamond marks in there. I gotta try to clean up now, but we shall see. Click, 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 click. That's got a whole new vibe now, doesn't it? Bleep, bleep, bleep. Even looks kind of good with those wheels. I must say. I'm gonna go throw some primer on this. See how it looks, and then uh, we'll come back and probably have to do some putty, do some touch ups. But I do want to get this in primer first, so I'll be back in a few. Okay, 
I'm gonna have to use axle tubes on this one because I plan on putting M2 wheels on. So I'm just making a little room. I've been starting to think of what color we're gonna paint this thing and, and I haven't decided yet. <laughs> you guys gotta check this thing out. This thing is called a Gator Baiter. As you can tell by this here gator, he's just like, oh, sweet mercy. Look at this dude, he don't look upset to me. <laughs> and that guy can just chill there for now. Hopefully we find a tire. I got the body just chilling in the paint cabinet. I got her little base just sitting here, just kind of waiting. Turns out these little cars, these Henry J's, a lot of people make Pro Street Henry J's. That was pretty sweet. So this is looking pretty good. I would say I was just trying to do a little assembly here. We had to modify some things. My interior has got pretty small. It had front and back wheel holder downer plastics, but that has been removed. Now we're in full go-kart mode here. I'm thinking we can just squeak this in here. Oh, maybe we should put the interior in. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> shine her up for the show and shine here. Let's make sure there's no fingerprint marks or anything. Oh, it's just, it's just beautiful, isn't it? I'm gonna make a little car show here, hold on. Hell yeah, man, looking good. We need more light to really show this thing off. So what do you guys think about this little Henry J, eh? It's kind of an oddball little body style. And it's kind of ugly, I'll be honest, but I think they make good race cars, people People like how short they are, obviously, so. Yeah, this paint job does look a little bit cooler in the dark-ish. I don't know about this body style. These wings are really throwing me for a loop on this car. Overall though, I guess it's a pretty cool little car and we'll just add it to the little hot rod lineup. I think that little scoop sure turned out decent. Hell yeah, this thing's hard to film, it's so dark. Ugh. Anyways, that's going to do it for me today. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you on Wednesday. I don't know, that whole car is just kind of ugly. <laughs>